Tool and Die Maker Red Seal Exam Prep. This video has been one of my most requested videos to be made, and here it is. I'm going to be using a similar timed format as the same as my General Machinist Exam Prep. So if you want, you can skip through the first section and get right to the timed questions because I'm going to explain the origin of the questions and where they come from and how many questions are going to be on the Red Seal test. There are 135 questions on this test. You require a 70% to pass. That's 95 questions correct. The exam is broken down into four sections. Here are the sections and their weightings. Part A, Common Occupational Skills, Safety Functions, Tool Maintenance, Organization, Bench Work, Mentoring. This section has 20 questions in it. Part B, Machine Operations, Saws, Drills, Lathes, Mill, Grinder, CNC, EDM. There's 45 questions in this section. Part C, Heat Treatment, Heat Treating Materials, Testing Heat Treated Materials, the total number of questions in this section is 13. Part D, design development, prototyping, and production tools. Production tool design, prototype design, fits and assembly, production, repairs. Part D is the largest section with 57 questions. The first 20 questions are supplied from the website www.redseal.ca. The following 20 questions I just gathered from other sources. These questions will not help you pass the CFQ or the Red Seal test. What they will help you do is discover areas of weakness that you need to go back and review. So for an example, if you were to find that you're having a problem or a weak area in lathe, that means you should go back and revisit all of your lathe curriculum. Okay, let's get started right now. The next 40 questions are set up in a time base. So you have approximately six seconds for the question and six seconds for the answer. And you may ask, why are we doing this? This is practice to get ready for writing the exam, the real exam. The real exam is four hours long, 135 questions. That's approximately a minute, 42 seconds per question. Remember, you can always pause the video and keep track of the questions you don't get right so that you can go back and review that section in the curriculum. Best of luck.
All of the information as of the time of publishing this video is up to date and current. But as you know, things change, especially in the system. If you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please send me a comment. Thank you for watching the video and have a good night.